Hello everyone, this is Chris from Holtz Farm, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, Italian meatballs the way I make them. So, first thing you need is you need your three meats, which is hamburger, sausage, and veal. So, first thing you do is just go ahead and one pound of each. You just put those in there. And then for binder, I'm going to do uh, eggs. So I do two eggs for this, for a pound of each. And what I like is these are fresh eggs right from my chickens from yesterday. So then I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, then I'm going to add uh, a couple, two pinches of salt, a uh, half a tablespoon of pepper, a cup of granulated uh, Romano, and uh, Parmesan cheese mixed together. Then I'm going to add a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and I'm going to add some fresh basil got it right out of my garden and uh, also some fresh oregano straight out of the garden and it's about a cup of parsley and about a quarter cup of uh, the um, oregano so then you just mix everything up by hand and make sure you get it in there real good. Now, what I tell people all the time is, if you have any amount of property, if you've got a porch, a deck, or anything, set yourself up a nice little herb garden. Get some of the basic herbs going. You can make them in little pots. Um, you can make a little, like I do, I make a little table, about a four by two table, and I put it on stilts, and it's got a, it's a bed. I use a couple boards across the thing to make it deep. I don't, you only gotta make it, six inches deep or so and uh, then you can grow your own herbs instead of paying all that money because these days herbs are just outrageously priced it's just unbelievable how much they do it so then you just mix it all up in the bowl and uh, you don't want to over mix it so don't use a, any kind of device use your hands and uh, that'll keep it nice and um, light and it won't be Real heavy, dense meatballs, but you don't want them super dense. So, you just keep mixing her up. Okay, and a trick I just learned today is you wet your hands before you make your meatballs. And that way the meatballs are, don't stick to your hand. They're nice and round and firm, so you just make your meatball, put it in there, and you make all those. Now, once you're done with this, you make your meatballs nice and round, all about the same size. You want to go ahead and let them rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then you're going to cook them. So I'll be back with that in a bit. Hello, this is Chris at uh, Holtz Farm. We've already uh, showed you how we made the meatballs. Now I'm going to show you how we cook them. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to get them out of the refrigerator. Been in here for at least 30 minutes. So I'm going to bring them over here. Up. So um, I'm going to serve mine with some. Uh, some raviolis that we had left over that are cheese. And I'm gonna use a uh, homemade sauce that uh, we made from our tomatoes from this summer. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get those warmed up while we're waiting. Seal on those. Here we go. I'm 
splash of water. this on meatballs in and brown them and I'm going to brown them about three to five minutes on each side and then they're going to get put in with the sauce and uh, cook out like that so that's all there is all right. to it. now we got the sauce or the oil all heated up in here and it's smoking we're going to go ahead and place the heat down to medium and we're going to put our balls in these five minutes five minutes then we'll put them in the sauce over here and let them soak um, cook the pasta and you're done all right a couple minutes on each side as you can see they're all nice and brown now so we're going to go ahead and put them in the in the sauce a nice stir get these all coated and we just put these on low to medium heat and go ahead and I'll uh, do the rest of the meatballs and put them in the sauce and that's it you have uh, Italian meatballs